Twice in my entire life, I have been embarrassed about purchasing something. The first time was when I had to buy tampons for myself. The second time was when I had to buy condoms for myself. And today, I'd like to say, is the third time I felt embarrassed about a purchase. Do you wanna know what that is? Ivermectin. Ivermectin. I had to go to a feed store and get this for my actual horse. But all I could think about was people are gonna think I'm eating this shit. And I was so embarrassed that I actually bought other horse items so people wouldn't think that I was a nut job. But I have to tell you that when it, this came across the register, the woman behind the counter smirked at me and then passed it back. Here's a list of things that I have learned from Gen Z since being on TikTok. If you are a public figure and there is an issue going on anywhere in the world and you don't speak out on it, that means that you approve of it and we all have to be against you. If you wear skinny jeans, wear your hair to the side or use specific emojis, that is really uncool and we will comment in your um, posts about it. If you do anything that insinuates that you are attracted to the same sex and you're not attracted to the same sex, that is queer baiting and you should not be doing that. Example, Katy Perry, I kissed a girl. If you draw fake freckles on on your face that is completely wrong and you are not allowed to do that because some people used to get bullied for having freckles on their face and that is so insensitive of you to enjoy having freckles on your face. If you wear beanies and jackets, that is a bi people thing to do and that's called bi baiting and that means you're not appreciating them and you should not be doing that. If you are able to have babies naturally because you are in a heterosexual relationship and it is easy for you, we will use breeder as a term to put you down. If you do anything that insinuates that you are gay or dress gay and you are not gay, like if you wear chokers and napolis and you're a male, we will call that gay culture and we will tell you off because you should not be doing that. But do you want to know what the main thing is I've learned since being on TikTok? It's that Gen Z are bullies. You guys are bullies. You don't accept anyone for who they are. You just want to gatekeep everything. And if you can't gatekeep it, then, oh my God, we're going to cry out and scream and pretend that everything's unfair because it's our culture and how dare you steal it. You guys are fucking bullies. Bullies, 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 bullies. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad at you. I don't approve of what you're doing. I don't approve of it. And I'm really sorry to everybody who has actual issues in their life. And Gen Z are coming here trying to make you feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I'm done. By the way, I'm gay. I've been gay for, whew, I've been gay for 15 years. I'm married to a beautiful woman. And there is no such thing as gay culture. And you can fucking do whatever you want. Every time I get on here, I'm seeing nurses and other medical workers literally in tears because they are being fired or being forced out of their jobs because they refuse to get a vaccine. Good. I'm sorry. Continue. A brand new vaccine, mind you. And I just wanted to tell you that if you are a nurse, a caregiver, a med tech, and you now need a new job because of this, hit me up. I'll hire you. I need nurses, caregivers, med techs in Washington, Colorado, and Oregon. Take your pick. Oh, no, that that's not going to be happening. All the people that I've seen repost in that video that are all excited, uh, no, it's over. I'm, I'm cutting that off. Sorry. I'm going to report you and make sure this does not happen. But I can't seem to find anything else on you. Founder, check your email. You work in a senior living facility. Do you remember the beginning of the pandemic? Do you remember the senior living facilities, all the deaths there d due to COVID? And do you want to hire unvaccinated staff? Have you seen the front page news in your city where you work? I went on LinkedIn and I found all your bosses at Bonaventure Senior Living and I reported you to them. More. What? More? Okay. I'm also going to take it a step further. I contacted the Washington State Health Department, the Colorado State Health Department, and the Oregon State Health Department. More. More than that? Okay. Um, I also contacted every single news station in Oregon, too. You are not getting away with this. Finish her. Then again, what, what did I expect from a felon? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Opening credit cards and other people's names, are we? I'm not throwing rumors out there. You literally admitted to it. Like I said, your little COVID utopia is dead. It's not happening. In fact, 
you'll be looking for a new job soon. Bye, Vesti.